office um yeah so when we had our teacher work day i was able to um get my lesson plans done for the past three or four weeks or whatever but mainly because i had did this at the airport like i was doing lesson plans at the airport uh, i'm gonna check my emails oh god so as a school librarian, I am on the fine arts rotation. So I am an elective as an elementary. And we cover second to fifth grade. I have a fixed schedule. So, you know, in some schools, you know, the library, uh, you know, you can come and go in the library or there's a fixed time and it cuts into whatever. No, everybody comes to see me. Everybody cycles through the library. I see all students. Um, and, you know, that's how it goes. Let me just give y'all a tour of the office okay so when you enter okay i have boxes and i recycle these boxes all right for different displays that i do and we'll look at that later but yeah these are my boxes that i brought from when i was a teacher so i had like that stuff these are just supplies and books these are weeded books i try to go through those to see if there's anything we can put in our little library but if not, they're going in the back. These are books I need to go through. Okay. Right here. And then these are books that I put in stations. And they need to go back in the storage room. These are all of my stations. Please excuse the mess. But these are all of the stations that I've done so far. Um, I have a bulletin board that I have to update. This is just a box of like... Like stuffed animals i found this in the storage it actually needs to go back in storage these are boxes of books this is like this was boxes of books but i put them out here because i need to add them to the system and then these are new books so my goal is to start working on this one also we have these computers the other librarian before me brought all of the computers out of the main library and put them in here and I see why she did that because on a given day, we can have more than a lot of people. Like, we can have a lot of kids in here. And so, having the space is way better. But, and I ordered uh, computers, but you know, whatever. And then we have storage, it's just storage. But that's pretty much the um, thing. And then this is my desk. I try to keep it organized, but you know lips be dry because if you put something on it when you got the mask on it's gonna be sticking to the mask yeah but i'm gonna go make myself useful we have duty and i'll probably show y'all what i can show y'all okay show y'all i might have to switch to my phone i might have to switch my phone for vlogging or whatever but yeah So I have my stations and those are the tables that you see here. I have my tables. All right. And so each table has a different station activity. Two tables at a time are the same. So we have research word searches. We have vocabulary word matching. We have forming questions. Okay. And so basically those are the three stations. I have my board set up. I did that on my day. 
I do have some anchor charts that I want to post up. We promise to put our books away in the right spot. Not leave books on the floor. Put books neatly on the shelf. Take care of our books. Take turns with our favorite books. We will be responsible readers. Okay, somebody is playing with me. So I usually have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I see two classes um, twice. Let me hope this okay. I see two classes twice, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday because we have an extra planning for teachers and then I see the class again so today we did a lot of talking going over just orientation type thing because like I said we just got back from the break and I was absent yesterday so we really need to go over expectations or whatever and so that's what we did today and then when we did come back I'll go over the actual lesson um so yeah I usually have to plan twice uh what we're gonna do in the morning and what we're gonna do in the uh actual time that they're supposed to come I want to have the books ready because if we have the books ready then that takes a lot of time out of you know instruction so I was doing a lot of talking today and I usually don't do a lot of talking I usually let them do their thing opportunities for them to talk so that they're not like disruptive and they need that but anyway I hear somebody calling my name I'll be right back all right so I need to call customer service for this vendor these are the books that the previous librarian ordered but I'm having issues adding them to the system because they already have a label on them they already have a barcode and so the system is trying to get me to assign a barcode but they already have a barcode on it so i need to know like is there a file like you know i emailed the lady in the district or whatever to see if she i'm gonna ask i'm gonna see what she say but if not i'm probably gonna have to call customer service Okay, and then after, because um, this is pending, so after it's done, I can go ahead and start adding the titles in regularly. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care and bye-bye. All right. So, yeah, let me go ahead and set up for the class. And then we're going to... We're going to get started on getting these books together so i'm super excited i have fourth grade fourth grade is good they a little early though you guys so we are at work just got to work i'm about to clock in i'm going to um do some to-do lists like the meeting that i had with the principal yesterday so we have a lot of things she wants to do for the website but i made her it's a lot of writing i made it 
so she could do it till March because I know she can forget. So, um, yes, yeah, so we have January, February, and March, and then just other little things that she wants done in terms of literacy. So, I'm going to be looking into all of these things. But I'm going to make a to-do list. And then I also, like, I need to go and get stations together. And I made some ideas last night that I need to just, I need to just get it together. Okay. So we are all clocked in. So we're going to go ahead and get started setting our intentions. Like, what, how we want the day to go. Um, I usually like my Thursdays because I have extra time to do stuff. Alright, so one of the many things that was on the to-do list was to find posters for literacy. So literacy posters to use around the school. Alright. Um, it's a lot of old stuff in here. So I just look in here to see what can be reused. And then if I can't find anything, we start ordering stuff. As a librarian, you really have to be cognizant of your um, your budget. Because you only get so much. And books are expensive. And I prefer books. Well, this is a good one. Read every day. I know people are upset with Dr. Seuss, but we're going to have to use some of that stuff here. I don't know what this is. Reading gives you superpowers. Okay. Got another winner. I don't know about this one because it's old. Um, every child a reader and then read every day so these are some good ones you know um so yeah Today's Friday. We are going to get done my PowerPoint that I, I do a presentation. So my lesson, my actual lesson that I'm going to be teaching to the kids, that is going to get done today. Um, lesson plans are already done because we did that on Monday. We did that for like four weeks. So really all we're doing is our PowerPoint. Um, what else I need to do? I'm going to send this off and I'm going to pay for it myself for the posters um really everything is done i usually use fridays to plan my lessons for the next week i'm probably gonna send an email out to the teachers about uh lost or overdue books a lot of students couldn't check out books because they had uh you know overdue material some things they did check out in october um you know before we got out for the break october november we didn't do any checking out really in december because i was trying to get the books back so we still have a few students that have not turned in their books so they have to bring that back some of them have uh fines and different things from another school that they went to in the district so they're gonna have to bring that up here books from two years ago three years ago they're probably not gonna have it they don't even know where it's at so i'm going to talk to the principal see if we can get that expunged okay because 
I don't remember stuff I need two, three weeks ago. I know the kids two years ago. No, I don't think that's fair for them not to be able to check out books. And it was like two years ago. Like they, they're, they're kids. They're 10. Okay. They trying to keep up with the stuff they got today. So, you know, I'm going to help the kids with that. Um, they're really excited about these new books. I need to order some more. <gasps> Um, but they're really, really excited about the new book. So I'm going to, you know, spruce things up. Oh, I am going to do my display. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on the display and I'll probably show y'all that. But today is going to be real chill. Like Thursdays, Fridays are real, real chill. Wednesday can get a little nuck if you buck in these streets. But really, Thursday and Friday are chill. Monday and Tuesday are chill, too. But um, it's just that Wednesday, that fifth grade, that fifth grade. But other than that, it's going to be all right. So these books are going to be our biographies and this is going to be our Spanish section. So these are our last two batches. We'll probably do this Monday through Friday and we'll have time to do it. Um, but yeah, like today is Saturday and so it's noon. So we're done. We only, they only, we only had about 15 minutes to get the things that we needed done in our class because the meetings ran over, which is usually the norm so yeah like i have really gotten comfortable like you won't always have time to get things done and knowing that you know what i'm saying it's less stress you have to prioritize but that's pretty much the week i mean yeah it's 12 o'clock on the dot and i leave on time okay so i'll see you in the next video but i just want to show you like this is what i do and i really do love my job so if you would like to see more day in the life work type vlogs you know i'm more than welcome to um do that anyway see you later 